So the reason I was like, we're going to have like an evaluation. Because now you're not only training for you. You also got to train for Watson. <laughs> yeah. Nah, I don't think it's you. Oh, hey, nigga. <laughs> My biggest concern with Watson is running. You do gotta run. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what my big concern is too, because I know uh, most action scene, most action TV shows have running in it. So you gotta be prepared to run for, for, the, for doing this. At least it makes sense for Watson's character to have a limp when running. Well, uh, so they'll yeah. be that benefit. <laughs> we need to figure out how much you can run because uh, it's kind of just see where you're at before you can't run anymore. Uh, normally, uh, we just do what I would normally have you do is run the straights and walk the curves. Technically, it's a square, so they're all straights. We consider but that the curves. <laughs> yeah, the curves will be the short part. So, yeah, we'll just do that and kind of see how you respond. Okay, so run long, walk straight. Yeah. Okay. Was that all three? Yeah, it was three. <laughs> How's it feel? I feel great. We'll try to do a little bit of drills in a second to kind of get you ready for Watson. Sounds good. <laughs> I will eventually be able to convince myself to get back up to go get water. <laughs> That's the plan currently. Get enough oxygen, I can convince myself to go there. Yeah, a little at a time. A little at a time. Oh, uh, so, um, I, I, I never asked this, but how do you feel about, I guess, Oh, hey, Nugget. I feel like Nugget is the, is our Perry the platypus. <laughs> How so? Because it's kind of like we'll be doing something, and then she pops up out of nowhere. It's like, oh, hey, Perry. <laughs> oh, it's a cat. Oh, it's Nugget the cat. <laughs> and now she's gone. <laughs> she's just under the car. Her face uh, is still watching over the cur curb. She thinks oh, okay. she's being sneaky. <laughs> Apparently she is, if you didn't notice her at first. Yeah. It's pretty impressive like, to hide from you. <laughs> she was right there, and then she wasn't. And I was like, okay. You'll be playing Watson. Yeah. And uh, how do you feel about <laughs> playing Watson? <laughs> I'm excited for it. Because <laughs> this will be like your first thing, though. Yeah, it's a, it's a big role, big first role. I'm down for it. I was like, go big or go home. All or nothing. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. This is this is fair. <laughs> um, I know we'll probably end up with some practices before then. Mm -hmm. Hopefully. Um, I don't know. Maybe we can even shoot something this weekend. Uh, we wanted to do some test filming to see if the animated type style of acting would work well on camera. Yeah. So we could do a scene like that, see how it goes. Or a fight scene like, wow, well, it would be harder to do the fight scene very animated, but maybe not start with that one. <laughs> yeah. We'll see kind of like what, what ends up happening with like whatever we end up doing. Remember, but I know. Have you seen the new Puss in Boots movie? Yeah. Did, did you not love the animation for the, when the fight scenes happened and like the entire animation changed? Yeah, and then they dropped the frame rate to 12 frames per second. It made it look very comic booky. <laughs> I highly enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah, it was it was good. I know the first scene in the movie looked kind of like Attack on Titan. Where he, he fought the giant, uh, the giant golem character. It was very anime. <laughs> I was like, look, someone has watched Attack on Titan. <laughs> but yeah, so um, I know we were talking about practicing with story stuff, ideas from the AI. Yeah. So I know it's something, that's something we'll end up doing. And um, the the city of food falling from the sky? No, nah, no, nah, we're not doing that. That's, Why not? That's, that's long. <laughs> we'll be doing something shorter. Can you not tell the AI to turn that script to a short film? I guess, but then there's a whole food falling from the sky deal. I know, but I really want to see how you try to make that one work. I'm not. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm not going to be able to. <laughs>
I don't know. That sounds like the chicken out method, but you know. I want to do <laughs> as much possible. I'm going for quantity here. <laughs> that's not a quantity thing. Be a quantity of food. Yeah, that's about all it is, too. Technically, it'll be a show about making a show from start to finish. We should have been recording a lot more of our conversations about make of creating Watson. Well, yeah, but it's still not too late because we're still really early in the process. Mm. So, like, essentially how I'm going to make it work is I'm going to, um, you know, uh, each episode needs to be about something specific. Yeah. When it comes to, um, when it comes to, like, the process, the creative process, so, like, this outlining, uh, idea process, you know, stuff like that. Um, and from there, that's where we'll go into play, um, basically we're going to play on, um, make an episode particularly about that part of the process, and, like, you know, I'll even talk about like what my process is, and then you guys have input on it, and then there can be like a a section where common practices are done. Yeah. Oh, maybe I can even have people from the industry talk about their processes and stuff. Mm. So that'd be kind of cool. <laughs> so, you know, those are just like ideas of what could work. <laughs> so and then um we'll work on that and then uh I think we can even go into like camera angles and like different things of that nature the types of equipment how to choose the equipment um like working with budgets you know like it'll be the whole it'll be literally the whole process <laughs> so I still feel like we should record some of our conversations about just creating stuff. Oh, yeah. I'm not saying we're not going to, but I'm just saying that I'm not too concerned that we haven't been up until this point. I'm out of water. <laughs> so we're going to breathe out. We're going to throw the punch. There we go. We're cleaning the gloves. <laughs> It's called a cross because it comes across your body, yeah. but the punch still fly straight. Okay. There we go. Three, two, one. One, two more. Three, two, one. <laughs> Well, you went down. Where are you at? I don't know. Trying to die. Pad. <laughs> I was like, okay, cool. Yeah, high five. <laughs> yeah. All right. One, two more times. And three, two, one. There we go. Again, and three, two, one. Jab, cross. All right, let's look at it. But what I did was, about here, when he starts to swing downward with the sword, that's when I actually sped up the shot. And so, it could still look like a, like a good speed. Now for here, this is Josh here. He's gonna throw a punch. About, uh, right about here is where I sped up the actual punch, so, because he threw it over and Keenan ducked it. Do that kind of punch where, like, you're jumping into it. Sure. But you see, right here is where. Oh, hold on. Go back to that. Because that, and that also, that, from this angle, it looks great, too. So, this is all of it put together. And so now, right there, at that point, we have some dialogue. Hold on, let me close up some of these things. Because it is freezing. Oh, wait, let me go here. But yeah, so in that whole sequence there, it looked really good 
where um only so only the attacks are sped up. Yeah, and so that's why it's like the speed of it all doesn't matter as much as the timing and the rhythm and the actual like show of the movement. Mm-hmm. I will say like um like uh, so for instance, this guy here he is a he he actually does kung fu like he actually studied in China and everything. Goddamn. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so. But Josh, on the other hand, has not. <laughs> so, um, we kind of play off of people's strengths and kind of like how they fight and stuff like that. So, and then from that scene, we have you know me and Drago here. And so we end up, we can flow off each other really well just because we're just used to fighting with each other. Mm-hmm. And so even here, like, even though it's all put together, <clears throat> only the the actual hits themselves are what sped up. Mm-hmm. I'm sure that's a lot of fun to edit. It was pretty rough. <laughs> that's why the last Blood Brothers scene was taking so long. Yeah. And so, it makes me wonder, like, um, oh, you'll see some of it here, too. And then we cut back over to the other shot here. Now, I will say this shot here, this punch to the stomach. So, so yeah, Josh is not trained. So it shows in that moment there. Because he also took a pause. I didn't have anything else to replace that with. Um, for now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to still go back again and see what that's like, like if I can find something. But he just left his fist there, and I don't know why. <laughs> But, you know, from when he throws that punch and the, as Kenny throws that sword swing, then. Yeah, <laughs> made me happy. And so we have two hand to hand fighters versus one guy with a sword. Oh, that pops up really nice. And so this is dialogue, dialogue, dialogue. I'm going to speed up. Oh, oh, oh. Blah, 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 blah. All right, next. Oh, wait, more dialogue. Do, 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 do. Go, go, go. So, right here, I think Kenan fights again. So, this is a, very, this is a lot of back and forth between two different scenes, two different fights mm-hmm. involving... A, Total of five fighters together, and included with dialogue. So. Sounds like Edgy and Cal. I will say me and Drago did really well in this sequence here. Because we knew it's a side angle, so you have to get closer than, mm-hmm. than what we would we were doing outside, yeah. and so this is how this turned out. Y'all are both skilled enough to keep your distance while the other person is punching. Yeah. <laughs> but also, we, we um, if you look at some of the shots here, some of the attacks, rather, it, he's still in my space. Yeah. So, like, if I actually didn't block this, then he would hit, actually hit me in the face. That's actually this shot right here. This frame right here. Look at that. So you see how I'm actually having to be You're away. His arm out of the way while moving your head. It's great. But here's the thing though too is that's also sped up. The, so the punches are also sped up too. Especially like those right here. And so if you look really closely, you can see it a little bit, too, because I didn't do it perfectly. Because, like, I know, like, the last punch before he locks my arm up looks even faster. 
but it's very like hardly noticeable and it still looks good overall it's the last punch before he's able to grab you it's a little bit faster i feel like that makes sense anyway and then he still keeps the same like uh like fighting technique And so I'm gonna show you the kick that I was talking about where he kicks the sword. We had to speed it up to 230%. So that happens over here. That that's the kick right there. So the kick he's about to throw now. So look, so what happens here, I'm gonna I'm gonna break this down for you. Because these guys have to fight around a guy who has a sword. <laughs> so he swings at Josh. Josh ducks. And the sword is coming in to attack him from the side. But he uses his foot on the handle to block it. You see right there? As, as Josh comes back up, you see Keenan looks towards him. And he actually uses that same momentum. He bounces the base of the sword off the kick to attack Josh. But at the range that they're in, Josh is on the inside here, so Josh is able to block there and then throw a punch to the ribs. See, he takes the punch to the ribs and then rotates his arm under the punch to lock up the arm like that. But he's about to stab Josh in the stomach. So actually, this guy's name is Justin. Yeah, we have another Justin. <laughs> So Justin, so as he's about to go in and do the stab to Josh in the stomach, Justin runs in and grabs the sword hand right here. And so he he actually kicks Josh in the stomach and then uses the same momentum from the same leg to kick Justin off of him, which causes him to let go. Here with the sword, he throws a punch in the face there. So that actually looks pretty good. Then, as Justin comes back in, he's, he's getting prepared, so he sees this whole action happens. These guys did a really good job in this, in this sequence here. So he sees this action happen, and then um, he, he uses the punch momentum to come back with the sword swing. So the sword swings this way, Justin goes underneath. Now he goes underneath into a spinning back kick. So <laughs> he uses the same momentum and going this way to spin all the way around to throw a spinning back kick there. And this is where he blocks with the side of the sword. Like that. <laughs> and then Keenan throws the kick in response. Bam. And then Josh comes in with the punch after that happens, which, which Keenan grapples him from the inside of the punch. Pulls the sword. You see he pulls the sword around his neck right there. And then, <laughs> so that's how that whole thing went. But like, if you play it back all at once, there's a lot happening here. But it's all it's all at a beat though. Bam, 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 bam. What's funny is you can hear Josh's body thump on the ground in the mic. <laughs> you can hear it go thump. <laughs> and I was like, yes. <laughs> and so that was actually one of, uh, so that's one of the favorite sequences that happened at the end of there. <coughs> and then uh, we have um, this sequence here that comes right after. So these things flow into each other. And so this is why the this is why the ending looks like it looks. It's like a lot going on. It looks great. I'm not a fan of Josh's fall. Yeah. <laughs> I actually like the fall. It happened all slow and dramatic. Like, you, you, at the end, even like he's already on his knees and just going to lay down on his chest, and he still catches.